Hello everyone. Today we are going to deal with bronchopulmonary segments. It's very easy to learn by just drawing some Y and some mountings. So first we are dealing with the right lungs. So this is the anterior portion and this is the posterior portion. This is the lateral view of lung, anterior portion and posterior portion in related to the spine. Okay. So next we have to draw two fissures in the right lungs. So we can divide it into upper lobe middle lobe and lower lobe okay this is anterior and this is posterior portion we can divide the different lobes into different segments by drawing just some y see this is y and mountain see this is a mountain signing so just drawing y's and some mountains we can easily divide these lobes into different segments so next one is i told this is matter of y and mountains okay so here draw one y in the upper lobe in the middle lobe just divide it into two portions and then the lower lobe see here two mountains and here one y so by this we can divide the lower lobe into different segments okay now next one is the naming the segments so this is the upper lobe so this is apical this is more anteriorly situated so this is anterior and this is posterior lobe okay so this one is the middle lobe so it's medially situated so medial and lateral and this one is the lower lobe see this is same as the epic uh, upper lobe see apical and this one is anterior and this one is posterior see uh, remember the relation anterior side this is a posterior side, and this is the apical and these two lobes remember as the same as me middle lobes see more medially situated so middle basal and this is laterally situated so lateral okay with lower lobe always add basal to all the segments anterior basal posterior basal and this to medial basal and lateral basal okay so so this is the right bronchial segments okay so this portion corresponds to upper lobe and this one to medial lobe middle lobe and this one to lower lobe okay so in the upper lobe there is apical segment then posterior and anterior corresponding to the uh, sec upper lobe segments then middle lobe it has got a lateral and medial okay then this is lower lobe so here we have to draw apical lobe apical segment because it rises from the apex lobe. so it is in the top then how we will remember this one so remember it remember a cross so this one is medial portion lateral and anterior and posterior okay same as that we have to imagine a cross here so anterior posterior and medial and lateral this medial and lateral in relation to the right lens okay so remember as a cross so next we are dealing with the left lens okay so this is the anterior portion and this is the posterior side in relation to the spines okay so here we can uh, divide the segments as see here i draw a y okay then here also another y okay then another mountain here and here also another mountain okay so y then another y then a mountain then a mountain okay now we can name the segments okay so this is the anterior portion and this is the posterior portion of the left lung and we, we are viewing this on the lateral aspect of the lungs okay so this is the apical portion and this one is to anterior and this portion to posterior and here also same apical then anterior basal posterior basal and this portion is lateral basal there is no medial portion for the lower lobe in left lung also upper lobe has got this lingular portion because uh, um, lingular portion it, uh, we can divide it into superior lingual and inferior lingular okay so this is the bronchial segments of the left lung okay so this is the left bronchus this much is the upper lobe okay this much is the lower lobe okay so upper lobe we know that is apical portion then anterior portion and posterior portion okay corresponding to the uh, same parts of in the left lung upper lobe so also here we have lingular so superior lingular and inferior lingular okay then next one is the lower lobe so here one segment that is the apical segment because it arises from the apex so we have to draw it in the top then how we will remember this same as the cross see this one is anterior this one is the posterior but here it is lateral why because it is the 
left leg so correspond uh, left leg so corresponding to the spine it comes lateral and this one portion medial but in left leg there is no medial segment so only anterior posterior and lateral so anterior basal posterior basal and lateral basal no medial 